Hey folks, this is John at Simply Sprouts Farm and it's the last day of June. Uh, it's towards the evening now and I want to talk about something that's very near and dear to our hearts. Uh, our biggest enemy in the garden uh, here in Virginia is squash bugs. These things will start either on your squash or your cucumbers and they will take over pretty much your whole garden if you let them. And uh, we're going to show today how we take care of them here at Simply Sprouts Farm. Uh, we have other video as well two other videos on this but um, we're using a different product this year i've been impressed with some of their sister products it's uh, at boogiebrew.net and uh, we're going to get down to business and see if we can head off this infestation before it takes hold and uh, wipes out some of my harvest so stay tuned we're going to kill some squash bugs <laughs> Now, a lot of you may say, oh, well, you know, maybe you didn't fertilize it well enough. Uh, are we getting plenty of fertilizer? Maybe it's not getting enough water. We had rain today. We've had plenty of rain. So, it's certainly not anything like that. Um, the variety, we've planted the same varieties for years and had results. So, it's, it's not that. It's, it's squash bugs. And um, they kind of conceal themselves for a while and um, until they start hatching eggs. And then you've got a big problem because it goes right down the line and it'll it'll just take over so let's get to work on making some squash bug juice take them out and start to spray it what? all right so bradley here has some ingredients here what, what are we making bud we are making stuff for squash bugs you remember was, well he watched some of these farms last year every single year we do this yeah well we got to because squash keep coming back yeah so what, what all we have here bud We've we got, we have my little dingy. So well, it's a sprayer. Sprayer. Mm -hmm. We have this container. Yeah, this is this is Dr. Bronner's cell suds. You can use any kind of soap, really. Uh, we're just trying to up our game because I am so tired of fighting these things every year. Um, and this came as uh, I got this all of this stuff from BoogieBrew.net. And then we got some pure protein here while we're spraying our bugs. You know, any any kind of um, plant that's been attacked by bugs probably needs a, a step up in some protein. So we're going to put that in there. Then we have it's, um, uh, neem oil. Yep, but it's kind of like veggies for them, but not healthy. It's like well, it it'll kill the bugs hopefully. Yeah, and we also have this container. Yeah, that's called rid bugs, and uh, a lot of it's just essential oils that they say you can make yourself. We went ahead and got this. Um, to try it out and see what's going on. So we we also have this cup with a lid. Yeah, get a cup with a lid. And also has to come off. Yeah, gotta come off. Probably don't want to do it that way, but gotta yep. come off. And let's so we'll get started. So to get this thing started here, you're gonna need four table. We're using we're using a two gallon sprayer. So to do that, you need four gallons of neem oil. Not four gallons. Four tablespoons of neem oil. <laughs> and four tablespoons of, of the suds and you're going to put it in this little container here with some warm water and then we're going to shake it up try to get it all mixed together really well Bye. all right so Bradley's mixing up the neem oil it's said to shake it very well keep on uh, keep on shaking it there bud and um, <laughs> he's getting it all shook up for us and uh, we're going to put it in the uh, in this little container here so what are we going to do next dad slash john all right, so we got this all um, in the thing here, four tablespoons of each of the neem oil and your soap. And we're going to shake this up, 
try to get it all mixed together. Um, definitely got to do that uh, for a little bit to make sure we get it all together. And um, then we're going to pour it into this to the spreader here. Okay, well this stuff, they say it's supposed to look like milk when it's done. And, yeah. Um, kind of looks like milk. I mean, it's all shook up there. And, it's uh, it's pretty interesting. This one's a little bad for me. Uh, yeah. This one's bad, bad, bad for Jab or something bad for me. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, well we got that in the sprayer here. So I'm just recording right now. Okay, so this Rid Bugs, it says... Two ounces per gallon of water, or for heavy infestations, four ounces per gallon of water. So two tablespoons is an ounce, and we have two gallons. So we have to do 16 tablespoons in here, which is essentially half half of this bottle. Um, but we're going to go for the major infestation and pour that in and keep on rolling here. I don't think if you use too much of this, it's going to make much of a difference. It's not going to hurt the hurt the plants. It's pretty much just essential oils. And, um, okay, so this pure protein, one to two tablespoons a gallon. We went ahead and put four in. Uh, give them some, um, it's 15 one, one so really give them a boost of this uh, fish protein, dry caught fish protein, um, while we're trying to rid them of pests. And then you fill it up with water, which I got it over there in the sink. One thing, guys, that uh, you, you got to be aware of is sometimes the bubbles will try to come out of the top and drip over the sides, and, and you don't want that to happen because that will dilute your mixture. So um, definitely, uh, you know, sometimes you got to just wait a little bit before you completely fill up your sprayer here. All right, so you notice here I've got this nice squash plant. Looks good. Everything's going well with it. But then I look over here at this cucumber plant and it's dying off. In fact, the leaves were yellowing the other day and I was like, oh gosh. But here's the best example of what a squash bug infestation and when they're starting to take hold. See how yellow these leaves are, especially on this big one here. How yellow that leaf is. The squash bug will get into the base of the plant and basically start sucking out all the juices. So one thing you want to do here when you're spraying is try to get to the base of the plant and spray. A couple spiders came out and again this is the evening time so the bees are done with their day and if you got squash bugs they will come out they do not like being sprayed on but what happens with this soap um, as well as the neem oil the soap pretty much hardens around their exoskeleton and it pretty much takes them out they can't breathe and they'll eventually die but they're not gonna die a bit, uh, in, a, in a few seconds it takes a few minutes something else you want to look for as you're going along spraying is the underside of leaves and sometimes here we see it on the top but these are squash bug eggs, so you want to crush them. Some people say to use tape. I'm not sophisticated enough to remember bring tape out here, but as you squash them up, they like to get right in the corners of these leaves here. See that? Get up in there for no reason. I mean, if you kill the leaf, not a big deal. Um, but you'll you'll start to think, oh, it's it can't be bugs. It's just a, you know one of the leaves snapped off or something, and not not a big deal. But um, there's squash bugs in here somewhere. We're gonna find them. All right, there's one. Get him sprayed, and then we'll talk about him. And see what happens is when you spray the bottom they don't like it so they crawl up to the top of the leaf to dry off and the other thing is some people say we'll squish him but supposedly that produces some kind of scent that entices others to come so he's going to drop down 
and die any moment. This isn't a video to show uh, death and despair, but that's how you get them. Um, if you don't get them by spraying down in the bottom, they come up to the top, you can nail them in. It didn't take long, it was, you know, a minute or two. So just keep spraying, keep going down the line. Also, with your sprayer, shake it. You want to keep this stuff mixed together very well. It doesn't doesn't stay mixed too long, so you got to keep shaking this stuff to uh, make sure your mixture stays together. I'm gonna keep on spraying. I'm even gonna spray these plants over here, which are fine because they'll move over here to these squash. They'll move over here to these uh, watermelons. They'll go any and everywhere. Uh, they'll even attack your tomatoes if you let them. There's almost always two, and this is a different plant. So I'm still kind of waiting around for the rest of them to come out, crawl up to the top. Now we had some rain earlier, so they probably already done this uh, routine where they came out and dried off earlier today. But uh, he's good. He's uh, he's doomed. Um, spraying the leaves of this with this stuff isn't going to help. You really got to get the bug. Um, and like I said, they're at the root and then, you know, I've been uh, Looking on the underside of leaves here Making sure there's no more eggs. I've squashed a few more eggs. I didn't get that on camera, but um, They've been squashed and and uh, gonna Keep on trying to squash the squash bugs yeah, You gotta have good eyesight with these it's sometimes helpful to have a little assistant out here with you They don't really blend in, but they are somewhat camouflaged. All right, so this is the original plant. I got the old one on, and uh, so I got him. So if there was just two on this plant, I've got them both. I've got to go back to the uh, cucumber, and see if somebody else has showed up. More leaves with eggs on them. Again, I'm just going to squash them out. I mean, you can pull the whole leaf off. I mean, if this plant dies, it's not the end of the world, guys, because um, <laughs> I've seen the decimation that squash bugs can do. And uh, we had so much rain last year, we couldn't get back in the garden to, uh, to do much uh, in the late summer and the fall. So they, they went to town last year out here, and there was one big squash bug party going on. I didn't get to spray or anything, so... but. Uh, you know, even if you have to pull the plant up and um, throw it away or burn it, that's fine because um, the squash bugs uh, will just take your garden over. This is what I wanted to find. These two are mating. I don't know if you can see it. You got some berry white music going on. got them definitely don't want that to happen but that's four on this one set of squash plants now even number it's good hopefully we found them this little guy here was sprayed and you know their ori original reaction is to go and dry off but uh, he's hurting so he's trying to head back to wherever he was hanging out before and he's already looking a little wobbly there and um, you know it takes a little bit of time. I've seen maybe 10 minutes sometimes for these guys to go. And then other times, a smaller one, especially like the nymphs. Um, cool. And normally those are white. You can see those in our other video. I haven't been able to find any nymphs today. But uh, they, um, they definitely uh, take their time. But it, you know, they're essentially suffocating because they can't breathe through their skin because of the soap. Here's that one I sprayed earlier. He's still hanging out up here and he's pretty much dead he just fell down but uh it takes a while but uh they will meet their maker at some point here's another one i sprayed i didn't get that on camera when i initially sprayed him because i think i got him down at the base when i was just randomly spraying around but uh he's uh he's going too he's not moving so 
we got uh, quite a bunch of carnage going on. And remember also I'm spraying this pure protein, so it should help the plants revive if they can survive after this attack. So I'm hoping this, this poor cucumber plant here uh, can make it. If not, I've got more, and if we can stop the infestation, uh, even better. This guy's kind of sneaky. He has climbed up underneath there. See, he saw me, so he turned around. Let's see if I can get him over here now. <clears throat> Hiding underneath the leaf. You can run, but you can't hide there, buddy. And uh, that should be enough to, to take him out. We found quite a few so far. And again, it takes them a while to climb up to the top. So once you spray the base, you know, you got to wait a little bit. But they'll be showing up. And uh, you want to have enough ammunition left. And we've probably got eh, a gallon or so left um, to take them out when they show up. So there he is crawling around now. I don't know what to do. But uh, he won't be long for this earth. Yeah, it's been about 15 minutes. And... Um, we got two more hanging out up here. Make sure I get him good. Give him a Saturday night bath. Yeah. I hit them good there. That one just went. And this guy, probably not far behind him. All right, so it's the next night, and these two guys right here are having some fun, but unfortunately, their fun is over. Yeah, like, oh, that was not good. What just happened? Yeah, you definitely want to get them before they start mating and laying eggs. I mean, I just increased the infestation that much more. All right, it's almost getting dark now, guys, but uh, right now I'm just I'm looking around, see if there's any eggs. I killed three bugs tonight. This is the second night we've been filming out here. And, uh, you know, they, they like to get their eggs underneath the underside. And I think this plant is okay. I did kill two bugs on it, but uh, maybe I got them before they put some eggs on these on these leaves here. And, and uh it might be okay again I tend to spray down into roots and then I'll wait a while and they'll usually come up and uh, we've taken taking them out tonight at least the ones that have come up I like to get out here a little bit earlier but uh, it doesn't always happen but everything's oh look at that I get ready to say something and there's one hanging on the very top say hello to my little friend there you go all right, just got to keep looking. All right, well, we're going to wrap these things up, but uh, one thing I should mention is I'm looking for any more eggs on any of these, uh, you know, any of these leaves here. A lot of times when they start to fold under like this, sometimes you can find nymphs, and the nymphs are usually white. There they are. Spray them good. Yeah, I had to put the camera down to make sure I could get up in these folds here and spray real good. I sprayed real good up in here and I think I got all the nymphs. This stuff will kill the nymphs instantly. So, uh, but that's great. I'm glad I found those. It's just they're so cunning in how they hide. And this is a great example. I don't know why the leaves do this, other than maybe they just, the parents are sucking the uh, stuff out of the, out of the bottom. Yeah, like, I mean, the parents, I mean, maybe down here somewhere, and I, obviously I've sprayed down here, but and they've already done their damage. I may have got the parents already. But um, one other thing I wanted to point out is I'm looking around one last time is uh, I don't get paid by anybody. Boogie Brew's not paying me to, to make this video or anything. I just try to find things I like that can help uh, other people and uh, put it out there for you guys to test it out too and try it out, and together we'll... We can make a better world. 
So I'm gonna wrap this up. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me on this squash bug adventure, guys. Uh, this is summary. What do we learn? You know, if your plants, especially your squash and your cucumbers and pumpkins, if leaves start looking yellow and you've fertilized and you've watered and you've got good so soil, it's some kind of bug hitting it. And at least here in Virginia, it's a squash bug. Um, and you gotta get on them and you gotta take them out or they will just completely obliterate, obliviate your garden. Hope you liked our video. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our page and we look forward to bringing you some more of these videos. God bless and we'll see you soon.